Detroit Lion quarterback Matthew Stafford again showed why he is a legitimate MVP candidate as he engineered yet another fourth quarter comeback victory over Washington. Stafford effortlessly moved the Lions down the field with under two minutes to play in a game that showcased traits such as awareness, a quick release, the ability to throw off of multiple foot platforms, functional mobility, accuracy, timing within the passing game, and pure arm strength. Let's go to the tape and take a look. With just over one minute to play, Detroit comes out in 10 personnel, and the Redskins are deploying a two-high safety shell pre-snap with their cornerbacks five to seven yards off the ball. As the ball is snapped, Josh Norman, cornerback at the top of the screen, begins his backpedal and is now 10 yards away from Marvin Jones, who is a legitimate down-the-field, deep-receiving threat. Washington still has their two-high safety look intact. Stafford sets up in the pocket, and we begin to see excellent route spacing and design taking shape for Detroit. Washington is now retreated into a single high safety look. Safety now down in the box somewhat, playing in a hybrid robber slash deep curl defender role. After Stafford's initial setup, he is forced to step up and out of the pocket to his left as defensive end Ryan Kerrigan rushes upfield creating a void for Stafford to buy more time to throw. As Stafford buys more time, the Lions' receiving threats are doing an excellent job of horizontally stretching the Redskins' defense with a concept specifically designed to beat this particular defense. Marvin Jones is running a deep in-breaking route at 15 to 20 yards, and Anquan Bolden at the bottom of the screen is running a deep comeback to the outside. We can clearly see the void created by Washington and also by Detroit's route design, and Marvin Jones is working towards that big void in the middle of the field. Stafford releases the ball with a flick of the wrist, while not even setting his feet. This clearly is a special throw by a special quarterback. Notice as well how he is throwing somewhat across his body to an area where he expects Marvin Jones to be. This is truly a rare throw on the move. With momentum on the Detroit Lions' side, the time running out, they need a big play. Detroit deploys trips to the field side of the formation with their tight end attached to the line of scrimmage at the bottom of the screen. Attempting to decipher the Redskin coverage at this point is tough to do. Stafford most likely has his eyes fixated on the strong safety at the snap of the football, as he will be his coverage indicator. At this point, we begin to see elements of the strong safety coming down into the box for the Redskins. This will signify to Stafford that there is a high probability of single high coverage, with the weak safety rotating to the middle of the field. As Stafford sets up into a clean pocket, it becomes evident that Washington is electing to play coverage in rush just three, which in theory tightens any potential throwing windows down the field. Meanwhile, we see again how Detroit has perfected the use of wide receiver spacing as the receivers use angled releases, which stress the defense even more so horizontally. Detroit also runs their tight end on an under route, which will further stress the Washington under coverage. As Stafford begins his throwing motion, the picture is now clearly defined. Washington is in a single high safety look, with Golden Tate running across the free safety's face in order to occupy that deep middle zone of the football field. Anquan Bolden, who is out of sight, will be working back behind Tate. The Lions are essentially running a modified version of a four vertical concept with their tight end as the outlet underneath. The window to place the football to Bolden is indeed very small. But Stafford is one of the few quarterbacks in the league who can make this throw happen. Stafford is essentially betting on his arm to fit the ball into a very small window. Also notice how the tight end is in Stafford's line of vision and influences that Washington will linebacker just a little bit. The ball is out of Stafford's hand, and as we can see, that window is very, very small. Stafford, again, relies on his innate throwing power, but also uses timing, Pro Bowl level accuracy to fit this ball into Anquan Bolin to win another football game late in the fourth quarter for the Detroit Lions.
Stafford is clearly playing at an MVP caliber level thus far this year, and the Lions remain the hottest team in the NFC.